Welcome back to the Human Benchmark series, the series where I prove I'm a better human than you because I can do the things on this website faster than you. Today's enemy is going to be the test that was invented in 1066, probably. It's the archery test, or as they call it here because they're cool, aim trainer. Very simple test. Goal is just to click the targets as fast as possible. The faster you click them, the better of a human being you are, more likely you are to be successful in life simple. But as you can see, I'm not very good at this test. What I am good at is using Python. So today's program is going to be a very simple program. We take a picture of the little target, give it to the code. All it does is continually finds it on the screen, clicks it as fast as possible. And as always, the first test never works. Um, I actually tried a version before this and it closed down my recording software. So you don't get to see that one, I guess. Well, at least it's not shutting down my recording software, I guess, but also not working. Unfortunately, still no luck with getting it to work. I'm really not sure what's wrong with it. Only thing I can think of is maybe instead of getting it to look for the entire target, I can get it just to look for this inner circle because targets are the same. So if it only has to look for a part of it, maybe it'll work. That do be satisfying though. I know it's just numbers, but still. So the whole finding the image on the screen thing is just not working. For some reason, it just cannot find the image, and I'm not sure why. But one thing I have noticed is that inside the target, there is a unique color. So what I can do is I can just get it to find that color everywhere on the screen and click on that color and hope that it doesn't mistake it for this color on the ads because that would be very bad. Hippity hoppity, your code is now my property. Boy do I love democracy. And as expected, it, oh, wait, um, I thought it worked there for a second. But um, it seems to be seems to be clicking in a straight line. I well, it's better than doing nothing, I guess. Well, I am um, finally have something that works now, but as you can see, it's not very fast. Yeah, we're um, we're gonna have to do some optimization. Ooh, I am so close to getting the hundred percentile few more optimizations and it should be there. So as you can see the program works. It's really not very fast but that's just because I've got a recording software going in the background. Um, but it is still pretty darn fast. 365 milliseconds. If we look at that that is not 365 but pretty high percentile. Yeah so if I run it without the um, <coughs> recording software going in the background Stable kind of 250 milliseconds ish, which is pretty much um, 100 percentile. And for some reason it's not, but I think that's because I don't know if other people have had similar ideas or just have ridiculously fast reflexes, but yeah, who knows? So that leaves me just to say thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed, I guess.